Vietnam, when I hear that word, I think of my Uncle Bobby. He was drafted in 1969. Bobby grew up in a military family. My grandfather flew 34 bomber missions during World War II. In the Korean War, his plane was destroyed by enemy fire, but my grandfather survived both wars. In 1957, a B-25 bomber crashed into the family home in West Palm Beach, Florida. My uncle was 10. I was in the, the room where the front of the plane crashed into. I mean, the plane was coming right to where I was sleeping, and this plane came crashing in, and the tail section flipped over our house and landed outside my bedroom window. So when I woke up, I looked outside, and I saw this white plane going about 25, 30 feet in the air. It reminds me, you know, like when I was in Vietnam. I stepped on a landmine, and I knew I was on something. I didn't know if there was going to be a, if there was an ambush, or I was on a landmine, or the next step was going to be a bomb, but I mean, I couldn't move. I was frozen. And so that explosion and the airplane explosion were two things when I really had a, some kind of feeling of impending doom or something. In 1969, Uncle Bobby was assigned to the 101st Airborne Division and deployed to Camp Evans near the Vietnamese DMZ. On the night of January 7th, 1970, my uncle was on a recon mission with his squad. Here I am stopped. And the guys ahead of me, they disappeared in the darkness. They must have been over 20 meters, 30 meters ahead of me. Each guy's two feet is a mine detector. So there's eight mine detectors ahead of me, four guys, eight mine detectors. I still couldn't go. I looked back again, I thought, what the heck? And as I lifted my right leg, I didn't know what happened at first. I was going up in the air, and I yelled, I knew it, and I was still going up. Shrapnel tore through his chest cavity, legs, and left arm. So I was looking at my arm, and I thought, oh, I just told God two days before, I'd rather be dead, heaven or hell, whatever it is, than to lose a fingertip. Just a fingertip, I'd rather be dead than lose that. And I looked over and said, hey, it's just an arm. I'm going home now, hey, I don't care. Uncle Bobby spent over a year in the hospital and underwent countless surgeries after being medevaced back to the U.S. I mean, I was very angry. How dare me get blown up? I could not be wounded. I was not going to be like that. It's, you know, I was going to be an all-American, healthy, be able to play football or whatever, not be disabled, crippled up. I found out that being crippled up is not really uh, physical. It's in your mind. And if you have limitations, everybody does eventually, that, you know, it's a matter of being mentally strong enough to see what you can do, not what you can't do. My Uncle Bobby lived with pain the rest of his life, but he lived every moment.